Hi everyone, welcome to Art Therapy. I'm Megs. How's everyone doing today? I've missed y'all so much. It's so good to be back. Uh, yeah, my kids are taking a nap and I have so much stuff I want to share with you guys. So, let's hop to it. Um, yeah, I gotta find a place to put this. <laughs> so, I hope everyone's doing great. I got the best surprise in the mail, you guys. Multiple things. I'm just so excited. I'm so happy and thankful. Let me get situated here. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I have so much stuff, I don't know where to put it. <laughs> so, I got a happy mail. A happy mail to share, and I can't wait to go through it with you. This is from, I should have been a little more organized. I never am. This is from Pam Van E. She has an awesome channel on YouTube called Pam's Paper Place. And... Let me grab all this stuff. She's the sweetest lady, you guys, ever. And I am so glad to call her my friend. Um, we, you know, met through YouTube, obviously. She's got a channel. And she's really embraced me, embraced my channel, supporting me. Um, you know, just really supported me, shared my channel on, on hers, and told people about me. And um, she's just been so kind and so sweet. And... Um, she sent me a happy mail, and this is like my first official happy mail. I did get, uh, I showed you my junk journal that I got, my beautiful, beautiful, um, happy mail I got before. That was like a swap, but this is like my first, like, just happy mail just sent to me. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, I kind, I did open it, I started to look through it, and then I was like, no, I gotta wait for the, for the video, <laughs> so I can be like, for real, with my reactions, okay? So I only looked through this, and I didn't open um, any of the stuff, so let's go through it. Hopefully, let me make sure I'm kind of in frame here. Okay, so I'm gonna hope everything's good, the lighting and all that, but I'm not gonna sweat it, we're just gonna go with it. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I have a feeling I'm gonna get teary-eyed. <laughs> it's just so nice. I don't, is that wallpaper or paper? It looks like it's vintage for sure. That is beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to play with that. Oh my gosh. So this is just so cool. I, you know, never in a million years would I think I'd open my mailbox and have a package of goodies in it. Oh, here's a card. Here's a card. Look at that card, you guys. <gasps> it looks so beautiful boho in the back and that beautiful flower. Look how pretty. I'm going to read it. Hi Meg, here's a few crafty goodies. I hope you can use them in your projects. Love your channel. Aw. Hugs Pam. That is so sweet. She said she gave me a couple crafty things she hopes I can use and you bet I will use this stuff. I haven't looked at it yet but I know I will. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this paper. This has to be um... Not graphic 45. This looks like, oh, Prima. This is Prima paper. <gasps> Isn't it? I bet it is. I know that because I always drool over it at Hobby Lobby, but it's expensive. So I never buy it. I bought one Prima pack and I've hoarded it for a year. I made like one thing out of it. This is gorgeous. Look. Oh, double-sided. Look at that. Oh, look at the butterflies, you guys. Pam, this is beautiful. Oh, this is going to look good in the journals I'm about to make. Wow. I wonder if this is Prima. Look, it is. Prima, look, there's the paper pad. It's called Tales of You and Me. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. Oh, look. Those colors, those pinks and mauve, oh, I'm a sucker for that color. I love it. Beautiful. I have a lot to show you guys, so I don't want to be rude and be fast, but I'm going to kind of speed it up because I want to get through everything. But this is, oh my gosh, you know what I was just saying? I just was online looking, um, looking up, what is this person's name? I just went blank. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I always go blank on camera. You guys know that. But I was just looking up her um, 
why can't I think of her name? Edith Holden. I was just looking up uh, books of hers because everybody uses Edith Holden papers and books and I don't have any. And I was looking, you know, looking it up online to see if I could find anything to purchase. And everything I found was super expensive. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'm good. But I love this because I, I, not only are the images gorgeous, look at that. But the, um, the writing, it's so unique. And you know it's an Edith Holden when you see that writing. That's so beautiful. I can't wait. Oop. <laughs> I can't wait to use this. You almost are f afraid to like. I don't want to cut into it. It's so beautiful. But that is gorgeous. Thank you, Pam. Let's go into this bag here. Let's see what's in here. <gasps> Ooh, little mini stand. Oh, cool. Look at all these. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch. Oh, look at all these little stamps. Little vintage stamps. Little card. I, I love vintage stuff. I love it. Oh, these are old. 1971. Cool. Awesome. Oh, look at the playing cards. I love vintage playing cards. These are so cute. Beautiful. Oh, I'm going to use this one in my next book. Oh, I love these. Oh, look at that. Oh, Pam, this is... Oh, look. I love my wooden, my wooden pieces. I love my wooden pieces. I use these so much in... Um, it's just in everything. You can use them on a junk journal. You can use them as a stencil. You can use them in mixed media. I use them on my assemblage art. So that will definitely go in some assemblage art or um, even a, a junk journal cover maybe. Ooh, I don't have any of these. I almost bought some of the, some big cards like this. Cool time cards. Oh, cool. I almost bought some time cards. Thank you, Pam. <gasps> Look at these. Ooh, these would be are gonna be so good to. You can fold them, make little. Oh, my brain's already starting to like make stuff out of this. <laughs> Ooh, look. I'm really into floral and, um, you know, like the nature right now and trees. Oh, I love trees, because oh, silver. Oh, I thought it said silver palm. Silver maple. Oh, okay. I used to have a street next to me called Silver Maple when I lived in Florida. Save the bag. Oh, look at this. Oh, I did open this, but then I closed it. I took, I found this and I put it in here because I wanted to be surprised at what was inside. Now, I'm wondering if Pam, did you send this to me? Did you know that my family's Native American? My kids and my husband? I'm sure I've said that on here. If so, that is so sweet. If that's why you put this in here, that is so cool. Uh, but if you didn't, that's still cool. Because, yes, my husband is um, Comanche and Sioux Tribe Native. And he was born on the reservation, the Indian Reservation, up north in Michigan. And Pam is from northern Michigan. I'm from southern Michigan, southeast Michigan, right next to Detroit. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. And that is the, this is the bead card for this um, bead craft store or outlet. Which this has got to be old, old. This looks old. i got to look and see what the date is. <gasps> 1937, look. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Oh my gosh, this is from 1937, you guys. That is so cool. So my husband's father, God bless him, he passed away not that long ago, a couple years. It's been, um, but his, his father's name, my husband's name is Cheyenne, and his father's name was um, David, but we called him, his Indian name was um, Great Wolf. And Great Wolf used to make the most gorgeous jewelry like this. The most beautiful things. My husband has some really beautiful pieces from his dad. That is very cool, Pam. Thank you. Oh, another old cook. It's an old cookbook. Oh, wow. I wonder what year this is. 1942. The whole book you gave me? 
Oh, wow. That is so cool. Oh, yeah, these pages will be nice to, to use for sure. Thank you, Pam. That is nice. I love vintage stuff. I can't, I don't even have the words right now. Look at all these napkins. <laughs> I give away so many napkins, so it's so nice to get some back and have some different in your stash. That is so fun. I always say I want to do swaps and stuff because it's nice to get new stuff and then to purge some years, but this is such a nice surprise. Look at this. Where do you find such beautiful napkins? Wow, those are gorgeous. There's a bird. Beautiful. Paris. I have some Paris stuff. I was thinking about making a Paris journal one of these days. Ooh, I'll be using that. I should keep that out. I'm going to put that right there. Ooh, look at this. Oh, that's beautiful. Little finch. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I almost skipped over this. Look at this beautiful purple. That's my favorite color. Although my color, my favorite color has always been that purple. And over the years, like lately, it's kind of changing over to like the blue. Um, like the light blue, the turquoise, like that. I just really love it, but the, I'm a sucker for purple. I never use it in crafting, which is funny. It's my favorite color, and I never craft with purple, but, or rarely. Look at all of that. Wow. That is going to be so awesome to get to use all of that. Wow, Pam, these are gorgeous. I can't thank you enough. This is incredible. Wow, look at the music. Oh, that's so cool. I gotta open it. <laughs> oh, it's just so cool. I love it. Oh my gosh. Every time I pick one up, I go, oh, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. Oh, I like this one. I have this one. Um, I gave away a lot of these, so it's nice to, to get this one. I think I have like one left, so that's nice. That's pretty. I love that one. Oh my gosh, look at this. I've never seen a napkin like this. That is so different. It feels like, what in the heck? That is so cool. That is so cool. 1992 it says on there. That is so cool. Wow. I love that. That's going to look so pretty decoupaged. Gorgeous. Let's get through a Meg. Oh my gosh, I love this. These are beautiful, Pam. That's huge. That's going to cover a big area. I love it. Thank you so much. I mean, wow. I, I feel so... Just, I don't even know what to say, honestly. <laughs> oh my gosh, this has got to be Graphic 45. I know that, yeah. That is awesome. Graphic 45, this is, um, I don't know if it has the name on it, World's Fair, World's Fair Collection. Wow, I've never seen this before. Advent, adventures are the best way to learn. You know what this is going to be great for? I eventually, when I'm done with these orders, I need to make, look how cool, like a travel journal for my friend. And, um... This is going to look cool on that because I want it to be real vintage-y, not like um, what you might think a travel journal looks like. I want something like really different. I think this would be really cool because they, my neighbor, she's my neighbor, but she's also my really good friend. And, um, she, oh, look at that. She goes on all these amazing adventures with her family. It's crazy. They just travel everywhere and... Um, I think this would be really cool. Look at that. I love these. I've never seen these before. They're gorgeous. And then there's the little papers. Ooh, look at that one. I love that. Those colors. Beautiful. Double-sided. Very nice. Keep moving forward. Such a good motto. Love it.
Thank you, Pam. These are gorgeous. I can't wait to use all this. And then we have this. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I can't, I couldn't wait to open this. You know, I am a sucker for, oh, I just want to rub my hands in it. Can I just, like, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so exciting. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at this trim. She gave me so much. That is awesome. Oh, my gosh. I could just see this, like, on a spine or, like, Hanging off the page, maybe at the bottom under the journal, that'd be so cool. Oh boy. Ooh, boho. Uh oh, I got a tangle. It's okay, we'll get it. Oh, wait, is this together? Oh, wait, look, I just now noticed it's, it's together. Hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, I'll get it. I think it's together. Is it? Oh, okay, so it's in, an, it's in a knot. There we go. So it's got a band around it. Right? Oh, it's like a tassel. Oh my, wait a second. That is really cool. <laughs> I love this. Look, it's like tied right there in the middle. So they're like together. I love that. And But like if you did this, wouldn't that make a cool tassel? <laughs> I love that. But yeah, it's got them tied together in the middle. What a good way to keep it together. These are beautiful though. Look at that. So we got this vintage lace right here. I can tell that's vintage. That is beautiful. And then this pretty yarn, vintage yarn. And then, ooh, this is up my alley, this boho style. Even though I never make anything boho, it's beautiful. I love that. That's really pretty. And then this brown one. Ooh. Oh, I love, I love my vintage, um, what is this stuff called again? Now I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. What is this called? Say it. Say it. Um, seam binding here. Vintage seam binding. That's a pretty color. I don't think I have that color. Ooh, that's pretty. And then more vintage lace. Rick Rack, Rick Rack, thanks for reminding me. Send sending me vibes, futuristic vibes. <laughs> and then this beautiful, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Oh, look at this applique. That definitely looks vintage. That is so pretty. I can't wait to dye it. Um, just for if you ever want to dye appliques like this, I know I always say it, but whoa, hey, these um incredible inks from Jane Davenport dye appliques beautifully and it doesn't rub off I don't know if you could put it through the washer or anything I don't know why you would need to but um, it definitely dyes it, it stays on it, it's beautiful so I can't wait to do that thank you so much Pam oh wait there's more oh, look at that oh this one's my favorite I'm using this probably first <laughs> that is awesome little mini doilies oh gosh have you ever seen anything so cute in your life <gasps> look I love you these are so cute I'm doing the annoying squeak voice my son hates so much so sorry <laughs> I get so excited oh my gosh I love those I love those thank you Pam thank you wow I seriously People are, there are nice people in the world. Look at this. Wow, it's so pretty. This is going to look so good in my Flower Fairies journal that I'm about to make. Same colors. Beautiful. Thank you, Pam. It's so nice of you to share with me. Um, you did not have to do that, of course. You already know that. But I really appreciate it so much. It really made my day. Really. I've gone through a lot lately. And, you know, little, like uh, Mama Ann says, little acts of kindness do not go unnoticed. I mean, I'm so grateful. Look at this. Oh, I love it. 
That's going to be so cute on a snippet. That looks hand beaded. It's beautiful. A little fleur de lis. Ooh, that's got some weight to it. It's pretty. Little pretties. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. So pretty. That is so nice. The card, the, everything that you put in here, I will use 100% and I will cherish it most of all. So thank you so much, Pam. I appreciate that. Thank you for making me smile today. <laughs> I couldn't use it and I appreciate it. Okay, so please, I will link Pam's um, channel below. If you're watching me, chances are you already know who she is. But anybody that doesn't, please go over and check Pam out because she makes the most gorgeous everything she touches is gorgeous. But her journals are out of this world. Um, if you haven't checked out her boho journals, go check on her channel and look at the, her flip throughs of her boho journals because they are one of a kind. Like a lot of times to me, like when I see people make boho journals or any kind of journal that has a specific theme, they can tend to look like each other. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. But her boho has got like uh, that's why so many people are drawn to it. I've seen people's reaction to that, to the boho journals she makes are just, they're so unique. They're very unique. And I can't get over the, the one where she put the, um, she made like these, she had pictures of women in dresses and then she put like, uh, lace, actual lace on the dress part. Oh my gosh, I was drooling over it. So yeah, go check out Pam. Thank you, Pam, so much. You are amazing. And, um... Yeah, so let's go into the next thing. Oh, look at this. I'm just going to be sharing things with you guys. So, And then the next video, we're going to be playing with some stuff. I think I'm going to make it into two videos. But I was going to show you this. So you guys saw my Raggedy and Junk Journal, right? So I made this to go in it out of some packaging. And I never showed you, so I just wanted to show you guys. It's not much at all, but it's funny. And it's also just something you can do with packaging. So this is cardboard, and it's a cat face, obviously, too. So a couple years ago, I bought my cat these costumes at um, Michael's for like Halloween costumes, and these this was the packaging on the packaging. It was like the where the price sticker was or whatever. So it's literally packaging. I didn't even cover the inside yet. See, it's packaging, and it already had the holes in it. So that gave me the idea to make it into like a little notebook. So all I did was put the metal um, eyelet at eyelids. <laughs> um, what are those called? Um, whatever those are called. The metal things. I want to say eyelids, but I know they're not eyelids. <laughs> I'm having a real hard time today. I didn't sleep much. Um, so yeah, I put those on there and then I just put these little rings and I tried to trace I traced it, the head on paper and tried to cut it out. It didn't come out perfectly straight. But yeah, I, as many as I could, I cut out with a craft knife and just put papers in here. <laughs> Isn't that cute, though? And then, um, yeah, that was it. Just put, like, a little lace in there. I thought it was adorable. Okay, so I am starting my new journals. So I wanted to share with you guys what goes into the journals um, as far as digital. So... Because I'm new, I need to get a drink. I'm sorry, excuse me. I need some iced tea. My throat is so dry, you guys. Thank you. So, when you make junk journals, um, a lot of people use digitals, and I can't make a junk journal without digitals. So, um, since I just got my printer, I... I've, I haven't owned a lot of digitals. I actually used a lot of um, craft uh, scrapbook paper and things like that. But now that I know the world of digitals and how vast it is and how much it's like a necessity to me, I need my digitals. So um, I didn't. I don't really have. I don't really own a lot. I've purchased uh, them in the past, but a lot of them that I purchased are themed, and so they're themes I'm not using. So I wanted to get some like that I know I'll use a lot. But also just ones that I need for these upcoming journals. So what you're looking at here 
And this also is to show those who buy a journal from me. This is this is a good way. Like those of you think of thinking of those of you thinking, excuse me, about purchasing a junk journal. If you're wondering where all that money goes, like, oh my gosh, it can't cost that much. This is just going to break it down for you a little bit. So this is just for, now obviously I'm not going to use all of these papers for three journals, okay, but for two journals, but um, it is ne necessary for me because I don't have a lot of background papers for what I'm about to make. I don't have anything for ephemera or much. Um, anyways, you know, just stuff that I, I've already... Did I move the camera? Already thinking about creating, and I knew what I know what I needed, and so basically, I went through and bought six. This is sixty-four dollars worth of digitals. Okay, so this is where your money's going. It's going into making your books. So, um, you know, thinking about that. I mean, this is a couple of journals. It's and I can use these down the road as many times as I want to. And these particular ones I got, I know I'm going to use multiple, multiple times. Um, so remember, I want to show you this and show you each of the, the places, the shops, and what they look like, and what they look like from my printer, which is the Brother Inkvestment printer. Um, it's not, it, it is a... Um, it's an inkjet printer, and it is like, you know, one of the big ones. Um, so, you know, it's it's like a commercial printer. It's not... I, I was worried. I was worried that it was more of like an office printer, and it wasn't going to print beautifully. But I think it works really nice. And I got mine for a really good price. Well, I got it for Christmas, so I'm a lucky girl. Um, but it was a good price. And um, I wanted something with a big tank. Now, I will tell you, I have run out of ink already, and I've been printing on it for just a couple of weeks. So, because of the things that we print, you know, like, look at all these. This is a lot of ink, okay? So, I'm not out of ink on my colors, just my yellow. Um, my other colors have a ton of ink left out of, all, like, all these prints. But my yellow is almost gone so I have to go replace it but it's not expensive for the yellow I think it's like 20 bucks around there just for the yellow and my other ones will get replaced I'm sure it won't be long maybe a week or two but um, so you know you just have to outweigh is it better to get a printer and pay for the ink um, this is I, I from all of the research I've done you guys and I've done a lot of research this particular printer is the best for ink that there is. I mean, that's what I heard. And that's what I really, really researched and looked. It is, they're, they're really big tanks of ink and they're really, really, a um, really great price. So um, it says a year's worth of ink in the box that when it comes, it comes with the ink, but it's not a year. I mean, if you're printing for digitals, it's no, it's not gonna last that long <laughs> at all. Um, but but it, it, you know, I don't I don't know yet. I used to print at Staples and I was thinking about okay, let me go through these. Um it that is very costly. So, um I'm glad I got a printer and it's more convenient. I, you know, when you when you order your prints from Staples or whatever, you have to wait a couple days. So, this is nice to be able to just go and print what you want. However, um things like that were happening to me like this for one it's a wireless printer, and yesterday was the worst day ever, you guys. I, it was the worst day. It took me, like, I've been printing for three days, basically. Basically, taking care of my kids and going to the store when I needed to and then cleaning when I needed to, but just basically printing the entire time. And I've wasted so much paper and I wasted so much ink because my internet kept going on and off because of the wind. So every time the internet would go off, and it's a wireless printer, every time the internet would go off, my print would just go and come out, not done, because the, the computer uh, would turn off. So it was so frustrating. Now, I, also, I'm learning how to print, you guys. I'm not, I have not done this very much. I'm not computer savvy. Um, I've never owned a printer like this before, so, and the old printer we had, I didn't really print on it. I went to Staples, so, um, so I'm learning things. Now, I do wish that I could print borderless on everything, but it I can't. It does say fill the page and all that, but it doesn't fill the page on my regular PDFs. However, if I can get something in an Adobe and print it on, through Adobe, my Adobe Reader, um, that can be printed borderless. And I have some in here that are borderless, but um, 
you know, not everything's Adobe, and I don't want to sit there and switch everything because I just don't have time for all that. <laughs> okay, so let's just go through my list. I made a list because this is a lot, um, as you can tell. So the first one, this is from Jarf, um, that's her name, J-A-R-F, and that is Medieval Mirage. Now, this I can tell you, this is what I'm going to have to go fill my ink cartridge for, but I might just even, stuff like this that's going to take a lot of ink, or that there's a lot of papers. This is Eclectic Essence 6 on Medieval Mirage's Etsy. These are all Etsy shops. I'll try to link everything below. That was my purpose for making this video. So you can see some of the samples. I did not print off everything. I would have, I would, I didn't have enough paper or ink to print everything off, but I plan on printing everything. I might I'm going to either go get yellow ink or I'm going to go print the rest off at Staples just to get it all done. Um, because M Medieval Mirage, her her um, junk journal kits are like 50 pages, 60 pages, something like that, maybe 40. That's a lot of pages. So um, I printed on three different types of paper. One is regular white paper and I used this Georgia Pacific Inkjet Laser 24 Thickness weigh 92 bright and this is just the regular run-of-the-mill paper and sorry my son just got up and he's supposed to be sleeping probably because I'm talking um, and then but I barely did any prints on that the other is a parchment paper used for invitations and I don't have any left but this is what it looks like and I really love printing on it. It's almost like printing on tea dye. It's like a cream color, really good weight and it prints beautifully so I definitely want to go get more of this now. I went to Walmart which is where I got it originally and they have a different kind now and it has a little bit of a different look to it and I didn't like it so um, I'm gonna have to find this one I'm sure it's on Amazon but this is what it looks like now I was bummed that I couldn't print this borderless but I'll have to chop those edges off you know what what are you gonna do but isn't that beautiful um, I just love that I think it's beautiful so I just have a couple from her Eclectic Essence, and these are great for tearing. This, the reason I wanted these anyways is to probably like tear um, them for collage, um, you know, oops, or to use as backings, uh, on tags, things like that. Although this would be just as beautiful folded up like that in a journal, but um, yeah, these would make beautiful collage pieces, and you need that if you're going to make, if you do mixed media junk journals. Um, the only one that I can't remember what this is from right here, I want to say, oh, let me show you the other paper, sorry. This is my favorite paper out of, of all time to print on. It's Epson, Epson Premium Presentation Paper Matte double-sided inkjet it's amazing there's only 50 sheets in here um, um, it says number one choice of professional photographers I mean you can tell the difference when you use this paper it is insane I love it so much it is pricey but it's cheaper than a lot of those expensive papers you only get 50 sheets and it's about $15 so you know, you gotta, I'm out of it. I'm not going to run and buy any right now because I've spent so much money on these junk journals already. Um, I've already spent like $100, which is, you know, crazy. So, I don't profit much out of what I, what I make, that's for sure. But, it's fun, isn't it? Um, but anyways, this is the parchment paper. Again, I couldn't print borderless. And this is the only one I have on top that I can't remember where this came from. I think this came from vintage, so I'll, you know, I'll put it in the description box. I can't remember. I have some vintage ephemera that I don't remember what shop it's from. It's the only one. Let me see if I wrote it down. Vintage Studio 717 Antique Handwritten Letters. I don't know if that's what this is. I think this is vintage ephemera, and I think this is from that French shop if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'll put it in the description, but yeah, that's how it came out on the paper. Eh. Okay, so these are Woodland Spring. This kit is called the Woodland Spring Kit from Razor Crafts. 
R-A-Z-Z-O-R Crafts, um, printed on parchment paper, not, uh, it's not printed to the edge, I know, but it is really pretty. So this is the Woodland Spring Digital Kit from Razor Crafts, and I just love these images. Aren't they beautiful? And I did try to turn it over and print this one. I thought this print was going to be full page. It looked like it when I did the print preview, but it, it didn't print full pr page, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but it's still nice, and I'll just have to cut the edges off, make it a shorter page. Oh, there's more. See, some of these are all mixed up. I, I thought I put them in order, but this is um, Jarf's Medieval Mir Mirage. I'm going to say Medieval Mirage is printed on the Epson paper. Isn't that beautiful? It just really can tell the difference. Let me just show you. Hold on. Sorry. Come on, girlfriend. Get it together. Okay, here we go. So look at this. This is the same picture printed on the parchment paper. Ouch. Right here. And this is what it looks like on the Epson paper. So I don't even know if you're really going to get... Wow, now I'm looking through the lens. Here I go again. And I have daylight and artificial light, so I hope it looks okay. Um, just trying to fix you a little bit. There we go. So, yeah, so this is what it looks like. And it's absolutely stunning on this Epson paper. It really is. I think I made it worse with the shadow, sorry. And then that's what it looks like on the parchment paper. So yeah, it's it's pretty either way, but that, that paper is just yeah, the details are incredible. Um, okay, so back to this was razor crafts, and then let me get the other razor crafts. So I did not print all of them off. Um so this is from the Woodland Wonder, I think. So there's Woodland Spring and Woodland Wonder. I did not separate the papers. They were just printed all over the place. So I can't tell which one was Woodland Spring. I think this was Woodland, Woodland Spring. And I think this is like Woodland Wonder. But I can't, you know, I can't remember. And then here's another one. See, I was meant to print on the back, but I accidentally turned the paper the wrong way. And I printed it upside down. So, I'll have to reprint this one. <laughs> but this is some of the ephemera. It says March. They have old book pages with the hair. I love that. Here's another one. They printed really good in the parchment. I love this image. I think it looks so good printed. Really, really cute. Especially for a woodland journal. It just looks like painting to me. I love that. That painted look. And then this one actually did print on the back and it printed pretty good so this is the back of that so that's really pretty and I don't know if this is from that kit oh my gosh I don't know I can't remember if I printed something else on the back of that okay there's another one in the water scene with all the animals and there's the back of that one isn't that cute I think it's cool some um, dragonflies and then I printed this accidentally printed a whole bunch of times so there's that one and then it's got the owl on the back it's really nice again on the parchment I wanted something thin but not white so that's why I use the parchment I like it you know I want to put a lot into this journal and it doesn't mean I'm going to use all these I just you know, because this would look good in a fairy theme journal to me. I think this would look good in a woodland, um, a forest woodland, gnome journal even. This would look good in, you know, all kinds. And then this is one of the backings that you can use from that kit. And I just love the backing papers. They're so pretty. So that's that one. Let me see. Is that all of them? I thought I had another backing. Okay, I'll probably, there's probably more in, in the pile, but let's get a move on. Let me see where I'm at with time. Yeah, we got to hurry. Okay, this is Mrs. Cogs. Let me just make sure there's no more. Oh, yep, this is from that kit too. Okay, so there's some animals from Razor Crafts again. Those are really cool. 
Um, yep. Then some more. Look at that. Isn't that fun? I love it. Little squirrels. I have so much squirrel stuff. I could do a whole squirrel journal. Um, these are butterflies. These are beautiful. Now, I'm getting confused because I can't remember where the butterflies came from. I'm so sorry. But I think it's from the same thing. And then there's that one. This one with a little squirrel. And then the backing to that. Very beautiful. Okay, so now we have Mrs. Coggs, which I always love her prints. They are gorgeous. They print so good. So we have some squirrels. This is the squirrel kit. I just love squirrels. I don't know if I'm going to use them in these journals or just in my gnome journals, but probably in the woodland one, a couple. But isn't this so cute? So cute. And then we have these squirrels. Okay. And then... Okay, hold on. Where am I at? Aged Butterfly? I think this is the Aged Butterfly Kit from Razor Crafts. Um, printed on parchment paper? I think that's this. Yep. So this is the Aged Butterfly from Razor Crafts. Isn't that beautiful? And then... I hope I'm getting these right. I'll be so embarrassed if I don't. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to see if there's any more. Th I think I got another Aged Butterfly one. Okay, let's move on. So this is Garden Fairy. Or no, Fairies in the Garden by um, Mrs. Coggs. This is the first page. This is the second page. I love this one. So pretty. I'm doing the Fairy Journal. This is the third page. So beautiful. I love that one so much. I printed this one off a couple times because I love these images so much. They're so beautiful. And they're even prettier in person. They're very super clear. And, um, yeah. Oh, I just moved you. Ah, oh, hold on. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh. Sorry, guys. You're going on a little trip. I just moved my whole stand. Of course. Alright, so then there's um, the fourth page. This one came out really light, and it was my settings. I had my settings on um, low, something. I just had my settings off. So they didn't print out that great, but, you know, still usable. I don't, I don't care for this one, how it came out, or this one. But I think if this was dialed up right on my printer, it would have been beautiful. And then we have some fairy sayings from Mrs. Coggs. Mrs. Coggs Craft again. Oh boy. Okay. Alright, so these are the fairy sayings. Uh, Mrs. Coggs Crafts. Fairies, words, and phrases. That's what it's called. Excuse me. Fairies, words, and phrases. And so this is page one. And then we have page two. Again, this is print. This one's printed on the um, Epson paper. I wanted something thick, so when I cut these out, whether I'm stapling it or gluing it, whatever, I want it nice and thick. Um, or just putting it in as a card with a decorated backing, anything like that. So these are very cool. And then this is the third one. And you can change the size of this, you know, make them smaller, which I was going to do. And I wish I would have for this particular page, because that's pretty crazy big. But, yeah, I'll probably go back in and make it smaller. Okay, so these are forest creatures from Mrs. Coggs. Uh-oh, I'm out of order again. Hold on. Let me get these. So this is when my computer kept, print kept turning off. It kept printing this one over and over and over. <laughs> um, this is the old design shop. 
um, this is the card set two, the Woodland cards set two, and I had already had set one printed off. I think it's in the pile somewhere from like last year. Um, but I just got this one. I like this whole scene. It's pretty. Of course, the animals. I got a few of those, but they came out so clear. And again, that's on the Epson paper. And that is the Old Design Shop Woodland Card Set 2. Then we have Forest Creatures from Mrs. Coggs. So there's the first one. Squirrels again. As you can tell, I have a lot of squirrel images. I really like this one. It's nice. All of them. They're so cute. Then we have number two. The fox. Just look how beautiful they come out. I don't know if it's really doing it justice on camera or not, but it's, you know, these are really, really pretty in person. And then we have, oh, that's number two. Then we have number three. That one's really cute. I love that squirrel. And that groundhog. Oh, they're so cute. All of them. I didn't even really look at that one. And then I think that's it. This last one. Oh, number four. Ooh, look at these colors. I hope you can see that. I mean, it's just so pretty. Really, really pretty. And these animals. There's a mom and dad and babies. Flying squirrel. Bear. Super cute. Love it. Okay, and then, I think I showed you guys, uh-oh, my kids are up and my husband has to go to work, which means i got to hurry. Okay, so this is, um, it says, for personal use only. So now that I'm looking at this, I'm not going to be able to put this in my journal that I'm selling, which is a bummer, because it's the only thing that I had penguins on. So, art, digital, shop design. I just was listening to my husband. He's got to go. So I might have to make this a part one and part two. But, um, yeah, so these are, come up really cute. They're actually printable stickers. But, um, yeah, I I guess I can't, I can only use them for um, personal use, which I didn't even notice. So I won't be able to use these in the journal. So the person I'm talking about that I'm making this um Aunt, this woodland journal. She wants penguins in it, which is kind of like, what? <laughs> I know, because woodland penguins, they don't usually go together, but she really likes penguins, so I'm going to put a penguin in there for her. I have not had luck, except the only penguins I can find have ice all around them, which, you know, doesn't really go with the whole theme, but we'll figure it out. But those are cute anyways. They print up nice. Okay, so this is... Um, this is for the tea theme, so I'm doing a fairy themed, which, uh, th that person wants a tea and fairy theme, so, um, this is, like, a, a tea party, I guess, so, where am I getting at with the tea, this is tea party add-on collection number one from the Antique Papery, and these are gorgeous. I didn't want something super blatantly tea the, like, you know, teacups all over the place, but I wanted it, I mean, that doesn't make sense, yeah, I do want teacups all over the place, because I ordered some teacups, I don't know how to um, explain it, but I thought this would look really good with the floral and fairy theme that I'm doing, so, um, the colors go good, I think, I think it's really cute, so these are pockets, again, this is the antique papery, they print really good on the Epson paper, here we go, some teacups, it's like a barcode down there, which I really love. I love the mixed media look and the floral aspect of it. There's a teapot there. Some print. I'll be out in a minute. Sorry. Every time I go to film, you guys, I'm, you know, 30 minutes and I, that's all I get. <laughs> so I, I need to hurry. Okay. So there we got some teapots there. Menu. Tea kettle. Just really pretty floral. It says tea right here. I just love these cards. They're beautiful. And then I love the circles. So I like to take my circle punch that's the same size, the three inch that would be, I think. Or the, yeah, three inch, I think. So yeah, that would be, or two inch, something like that. But it's got tea. You could do all kinds of stuff with that. <clears throat> 
And then this one is, let me look on my list. Um, sorry guys, I think I need to go and make a part two because my husband is in a tizzy because he has to go to work. So... This is um, Vintage Studio 717 Antique Written Letters, and there's like 12 or 13 of them, and I only printed off a few. Now, my printer was in black and white mode, <clears throat> excuse me, so this one I think is still cool, and again, this was on Adobe, so I could go um, borderless, which made me really happy, so I was happy with this one, very happy, because um, I don't mind it being like black and white or old looking uh, I'm probably you know chances are I'm going to be cutting the like ripping and tearing using these as tear sheets or I'll cut it and fold it up and put it as ephemera in the book so that's what these are for so you know I accidentally printed them in gray mode but that's okay they still came out okay I would obviously cut these out or rip them up or whatever use them as tear sheets or whatever um this is from Tracy Fox love junk journals Tracy Fox and Tracy Fox Creative, Love Junk Journals, Patchwork Backgrounds, and I love this one. So these are pockets. I just love everything about this. That's on regular, plain Jane white copy paper. I like my pockets to be thin like that, so I liked it on that paper. And I printed that off twice because I thought it would be cute in a couple journals. <clears throat> Excuse me. These are some... Tags. Now, I, sh I meant to print this off on thicker paper because it is tags, but it is on the thin paper. I could decoupage this onto something, onto a tag, you know, whatever. Glue it on. You'd never know the difference. Um, and then there's some more pockets. I just love these. There we go. So that's the patchwork. Now, this came out awesome. Now, this is from Liana... Liana Scrap, L-I-A-N-A, -A, Liana Scrap. It's called Spring Fling. I just want to make sure that's right so I'm not misrepresenting. So Spring Fling, um, and so this is awesome. This was printed on, I tried different papers. So I printed this on my... Um, coffee dyed paper and my avocado dyed paper. This is from avocado paper that I baked in the oven, soaked and then in avocado water, baked in the oven on the baker sheet, left the marks on there. This one went in okay. It started choking up on this one. Um, I don't know. I don't know why it was so off center. Maybe because it was crinkled. I got some smearing of black ink right there. I don't know. It came out weird. Um, like see how it's printed there and like over I don't know it my my printer didn't want to do it it and my printer did really good on this one this is my favorite of the whole entire bunch this is the fav my favorite thing I printed period and this is a different one though this isn't Liana so I'll save that hold on so this is Liana this is when my printer was like nope not gonna do it I had a paper jam so I you know everything stopped this is one on coffee stained paper and went through okay um, so that looked pretty this is on coffee dyed paper um, and that looks pretty too same with this one coffee dyed very pretty and then this one is from So sorry. This is Artzology. Artzology. Oh my gosh, I can't say that. Artzology. Um, Butterfly Bliss Tear Sheet. So this is the Butterfly Bliss Tear Sheet, and I think it's gorgeous. I love it so much. I think that's what this is. I hope so. There's so many, you guys, and they're out of order, so it's hard for me to... Hard for me to get it straight. Aged butterfly. Huh. It's either the aged butterfly or the no no. This is definitely the artsology. Butterfly bliss. Yeah, that's for sure. 
that. But isn't that beautiful? This is on, again, on the avocado paper. Look how gorgeous that came out. I was so happy with that. It's got like the ink spillage there. I love that. It just came out so good with that pink background. So, yeah, I love that. This is from... Caroline's Craft Tree. It's eco dyed digital. Now, some of them I printed normally, and then the other ones I was able to print on uh, through Adobe. So I was able to do some borderless and some weren't. So these are the borderless ones, and this is on craft or on the parchment paper. Not parchment paper, like see-through, like parchment paper, like invitation paper, that's like the cream colored. Oh, this is regular white paper, sorry. Regular old plain Jane paper. Came out really pretty. This is eco dyed from Carolyn's Craft Tree. And I know she has her shop on Etsy and also a Nevermore Creation 17 website. Um, so there's that one. There's this one. Here are some pockets printed on white. Oh, I love this one. So this one's my favorite. So beautiful. Again. There's this one. Okay, and then this is where it was not borderless. These were my first prints, and then I realized I could go borderless, so then I did. But yeah. But still, I can just cut the edges off. They're still beautiful. Use them as tear sheets, collage, stuff like that. Oh, I love this one. So there's more. There's a lot of them. I think there's like 14, 12 or 14 pages, something like that, that you can print. And there's some I didn't print, too. I think there's more tags and stuff, I think, than I did not print. Okay, this is, let's move along. Got to hurry here. And this was all screwed up, you guys, because I had my printer on, like I said, I was, you know, new to this. I had it on Ink Saver by accident. So the first one I had on black and white, then I had it on um, Save Your Main Colors or whatever. So these are uh, Dictionary Definitions by Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. Um, it's just one page printout. So this is it in black and white. <laughs> Um, but it's not bad. It was an accident, but I could still use it. And this is it on parchment because I printed uh, two and two different kinds. I wanted it on two different kinds of paper and then I looked and I was like, what did I do? Oh, I printed it in gray. Okay. And then this is when I thought I changed it to normal, but I changed it to ink saver or minimal, whatever it was on. Um, so yeah. Still, and then and then it cut it off at the top, so I don't know what I was doing wrong. I gotta figure it out, but I think I had it on over a hundred percent to fill the page, so it cut off the top. So as you can tell, I'm still learning. This is my good paper, though. So yeah, <laughs> I'm still learning. I'm still learning uh, how to use a printer 101. Okay, and then we have well, I gotta get a move on, don't I? This is Pixie Magic by Gecko Gals. Pixie Magic, Gecko Gals, one of my favorite shops. Again, she reminds me of Mrs. Coggs a lot. So that one's really, really cute. This one's Spring Magic by the Gecko Gals. And they're just really cute vintage image images. And then I believe, now I can't remember because I couldn't find this page, who this came from. I don't think it's from Mrs. Coggs, but it could be. I don't know if it's from Mrs. Coggs or one of the Gecko Girls. I had to, um, I have to write it down below, or you'll just have to see for yourself. Because <laughs> I can't remember, but I printed out three of them, not on purpose. So that was another mistake. But I'll use them. They're very pretty. And then this one is Fairy Magic by the Gecko Girls. I love that one right there. It's my favorite. So pretty. They're all so cute. Look at that. These images are adorable, especially up close. Look how pretty. I can't wait to use this particular page. All of them, but... Um, this... I don't know why this is in the pile. Okay, so these... Okay, so that's pretty much all that I bought in the last few days. Now, I still have a ton more to print off from, like, 
Medieval Mirage and all the rest of the kits that I didn't print off. But here's some, like if you want some labels, Love Junk Journals. Remember Tracy Fox we talked about? Um, Fox Creative. These are called plain and simple labels, and they print off really nicely, different colors. She's got blue, red, um, green, and these are old. I just, you know, I use them frequently, but that's something you might want to look into. I have these butterfly stamps, and now I can't remember who they're from. Mm, I'll put them in the description box below. I thought... I could remember, but I can't. But they're really nice to have on hand. Uh, I think that's all I want to mention. Oh, I mean, this is okay. This is from Nevermore Creations 17. She has a fairy kit. Now, I'm not going to show the whole kit because I'm not that fond of it. Just being frank, for me, it's not that great to me, um, all of it. But this, this is. I like the ephemera a lot. I love this. I think that's cute. This is the ephemera. Fairy cream. Fairy. I love this. I printed this last year, never used it, but I'll probably use it. Like, I'm not too keen on that. I'll probably use this tag and this big ticket, maybe, but I don't know if I'll use those. Um, but they're cute. And this page, I like all of them. I think they're all super cute. I'll probably use them. I like those. And then I like this one. And that's Nevermore Creation 17. She has a fairy kit. But there's a lot more in the kit. There's this page. I won't use that one, probably. I'm not going to bother showing the rest because i got to get a move on. But, yeah, there's a lot in the kit. So, um, more of those butterflies. Okay, so here's the first one. Remember when I showed you guys the, the old design shop Woodlands card set number two? This is the card set number one. And this is the one I purchased last year and never used. So I will be using it hopefully soon. I, got, I bought it because the mushrooms. So And I bought another mushroom kit. But I got, haven't got to use it yet. This is from Texas Freckles. And I'm showing you this because I have cut into so many. I printed this off several times. Um, this is Texas Freckles. Melanie Sullivan has a shop. I don't know if you watch her. She's an amazing, amazing artist um, on YouTube. And she does mixed media and junk journals and all that. Um, but her shop's called Texas Freckles, and this is called the Light, I believe it's called Light Quilt Scrap or something like that. But, yeah, it's just this page, but I love it so much. And I use it, I've used it for backgrounds, I've used it as a tear sheet for collage. Um, you can use it as just a, a cover if you wanted, because it's a quilt pattern. It's just beautiful, so I love it. So that's a really nice one if you like those colors. She has multiple colors in that quilt style. Um, here's more of those um, Tracy Fox labels in black and brown. They print off beautifully. And, um, Staples printed these off for me last year. And this is Nevermore Creations. I don't know where the, what you know what this is from. It's old. Um, and then last one is Nevermore Creations. Oh, not last one. Yeah. This is the fungus, or no, not fungus, among us, I almost said. Um, oh, gosh. I think it's, uh, I want to say something gems. The forest floor gems or something like that. Forest floor gems, that sounds right. But it's all mushroom stuff, and I just absolutely love this kit. Love it. I have not made any a mushroom journal yet, but I will. I will. These are just so cool to me. I just love mushrooms. I don't know what it is. I love the vintage look. I love the taste of mushrooms. <laughs> look at that. That is so cool. And I've I've had food poisoning from a mushroom before, you guys. Poisonous mushrooms in Florida. One of the worst food poisonings you can get. I almost died. I had to have my stomach pumped. I ate a mushroom in my backyard when I was around seven years old. And I literally had to get rushed to the hospital. I was exorcist puking everywhere. I had to get my stomach pumped. I'll never forget. They shoved the, the tubes down my throat, down my nose and my throat. And I really remember getting my stomach pumped. It was awful. And I almost died. And I developed a slight allergen to mush mushrooms because of how bad that was, which was weird. But I still love them. 
I loved him so much when I was little. That's why I ate one in my backyard. Um, but isn't that just so cute? So cute. Yeah, crazy story. Man, speaking of mushrooms, we just went to this really fancy restaurant. We're not fancy people, but I'll close with this. We went to this fancy, fancy restaurant. It's called Flowers of Vietnam. And, like, I live by Detroit, which is, you know, some people think of the hood when they think of Detroit, but, you know, Motor City, whatever. It's really becoming a food mecca. Like, I'm not kidding. It's like you can get anything and everything there. It's amazing. And we went to this fancy restaurant for a special occasion for our friends got married and we wanted to take them out for something special. And we had the most amazing meal. I'm thinking about it because we had this one dish that we passed around and it's like family style. And you get like one little, one serving of each thing, you know, it's just like so good and really, really expensive, but amazing. Like something you won't eat ever again, unless it's there, you know, but we had this like shiitake mushroom thing and it had this, it was on top of a, it's going to sound gross, a mushroom puree. When he was describe the chef was describing it to us before it came out, I was like, this is going to be sick, right? It was the craziest thing I ever ate. We were all like looking at each other. We couldn't talk. It was so wild. It was like a cocoa, it had this cocoa infused um, with, with like pepper. I don't know. It was, I can't even describe it. It was so crazy. It was crazy. I don't know, it was like the cocoa bean with um, hot pepper, like in a puree. So first it tasted like a dessert, like a really good dessert. And then the next bite, it was spicy. And then the next bite, it wasn't. It was so weird. I'll never forget it. It was it was cool. <laughs> it was really cool. Anyways, now I'm hungry. Um, yeah, but if you're ever in Mexican town in Detroit... Hit up that spot if you got the money too. Trust me. Not somewhere we would go very often. Because <laughs> we are not fancy people. But we had so much fun. This is Musings by Nikki. Rip Strips Mushrooms. It was in the pile. So, Okay. So I wanted to show you guys my haul from Joggles. But I have to go. So um, that was going to be it. I know it was a lot. But I know people want to know about different um, digital kits. And where to get cool digitals. Um, so that's it. I just wanted to share those shops with you. I will link them below. Um, it's going to be a, a lot to link them all below. But I'll link them below. And if All of them that I can remember. Um, and if you have any questions. Uh, like you didn't understand one of them. And I didn't put it in. If I forget one or something. You can always message me. But yeah. These are really great kits. Especially if you're doing a woodland a fairy woodland animal theme something like that um, I think these would look really good so yeah support your local Etsy shop owners buy their digitals um, you can keep them forever and print them as many times as you want but just be prepared look and if you're gonna sell journals make sure you look and see if that's allowed or if, you know, because like I just realized one of mine that I printed off I cannot sell and I'm bummed because it was you know, it was my one, I purchased it, and it, now that I can't sell it, and now I'm out that money, you know what I mean, so now that I can't use it, because I don't need it personally, I need it to sell, um, that now it's a waste of money, so I wasted ink on it, I wasted money on it, because I didn't look beforehand, even though it probably said it right there on the site in front of my face, but, so just be cautious of that if you're new at printing and making junk journals, too, you know, if you're trying to sell, make sure that you're allowed to because you don't want to do anything illegal or that's just not right. I mean, you know, you obviously don't want to sell something that's not supposed to be sold. Um, and anything else? I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that one I'm talking about, in case you missed it, it was the... And yeah, I didn't write it down. It was the one with the animals and the penguins and stuff. But oh, um, and I, again, this is the paper I used. That really good paper. If you want a good specialty paper that's not like thirty bucks, it's fifteen for fifty sheets, which is pricey. Um, but yeah, and that's it. I'm gonna come back and show you guys my little haul that I got last week. Um, so I will see you guys soon. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that wasn't too monotone and boring for you. Um, and I hope you got, you know, that you learned something. I know there's a lot of new people here. So I wanted to share what I know. And also spread the word for my shop owner um, 
artist because, you know, I just wanted everybody to get support. Um, and Pam has a shop, so go visit her shop, visit her page, or her, her oh my gosh, her YouTube, <laughs> sorry. And, um, yes, support Pam, Pam's the best. All right, guys, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye.